welcome to Park here in Cashel, where we have the Junior A Football Championship final between Bally Mahan wearing the red and white and Carrick Edmund wearing the blue and gold. Okay. Uh, good evening, and ladies and gentlemen. Um, referee for this evening's game you. is Porrig McKee from Father Manny Gales, uh, linesman Tony Gaffney from Mostrum, and Tommy Dunahoe from Rathline. And the teams for the day will go through the Bally Mahan team first. And the Bally Mahan team is number one, James McCormick. Number two, Garrett Murta. Where number three is James Noonan. And number four, Ian Mulvihill. Half back line. Where number five is Niall Dowler. Where number six and centre back is Matthew Daly. And number seven, Left half back Graham Forbes. Where number eight midfield is Dan Carberry, accompanied by Charlie Byrne. Where number nine half forward line number ten Thomas Mulvihill. Number eleven James Farrell. and number twelve with top left half forward is Eddie Noonan. And a full forward line top of the right is a change here is Pedro Bourne is coming in at top of the right. Full forward is John Nevin and left full forward is James Daly. And we have 16, we have David Cooney, Gordon Cooney, Stephen Cooney, Simon Daly, Willie Dowler, Ian Duncan, Pascal Fitzmaurice, Tommy Flynn, Andrew Goff, Jack Higgins, Adrian Nestor, Dean Riley, Kieran Ryan, Richard Walsh, Pedro Bo and Paul Kelly, Shane O'Neill and Willie Dial. And the Kerry Goodman team. Wearing the blue and gold, in gold is Gareth Higgins wearing number one. Full back line, number two, Joe Beslin. Full back, James Teague, and left full back, wear number four is David Lenehan. Half back line, wear number five is Barry O'Farrell. Centre back, Shane Mulvey. And left half back, no, wear number seven is Paul York. Midfield, wear number eight, Dermot McCormack. Assisted by John Burns, wear number nine. Right half forward, Wear number 10, David Quinn. Centre half forward, John O'Rourke. And left half forward, Michael Cunningham. Full forward line, Keith McGuire. Wear number 13. Full forward, Gareth Flower. And left full forward is Patrick Egan. Wear number 15. And the substitutes are made up from are Jared Maloney, 16, 17, Eugene McCormick, Mel York, Aidan Falcon, Willie Noonan, Paul McDonald. Eugene Farrell, Aidan O'Neill, Paul Keenan, Ushin Farrell and Eugene Kwan. So as we wait now for the team party to decide who's going to say, either way we relate back to Ballymahan who last won this title back in 1960. So they'll be hoping to bridge a long gap. They had a very, very good campaign in their in their league in their league group there was my do one against my do a counter for their neighbours Arda Clangish and in the semi-final a very tight game to come out a one point better over the Spotty Manny Gales from this a tight fought game and Kerry Gedman hopefully will bridge a the gap they're hoping to the bridge a gap last one in 62 and they had come through a tough group as well they had Cashel Kena and Grattans, a tough group and they come through with flying colours and against the semi-final in a high scoring semi-final we had the Dramard, the beat Dramard to go into the final today and go, the two captains now are coming up to the middle of the field now and it's number 12 Michael Cunningham, captain of the Gary Gedman team, he's going to take the toss There. Very, good. Very good referee. Should be an interesting game. It should be two neighbouring teams. Really done them there. Just getting the photos. Harry McGee looking at it, and it looks like Michael Cunningham has won the toss. And number six there, we see Matthew Daly was in for the toss there for captain of the Ballymahan team. 
An interesting note, I was talking to Albert Fallon earlier on, that 22 of the panel are under 21, and 12 of the starting team for Ballymahan tonight are actually under 21, so definitely a very, very young Ballymahan team. And also, we have a lot of brothers on the Ballymahan team. Like the intermediate match last week, we have the Dowler brothers, Daly brothers, Byrne brothers, Eddie Noonan, uh, brothers as well, the Cooney brothers, and we have a father of the National Anthem of the Earth. And getting back to the Ballymahan team, we have manager Paul Kelly, and his selectors is Wayne Kelly and Albert Fallon. In the management area of Kerry Gedman, we have Jerry Belton, Damian Moore, and Sean O'Neill. And Kerry Gedman coming on the back of a great championship win last Sunday when they had a great Kerry, when they, Kerry Gedman beat Bally Moore in the intermediate final rather convincingly. And a lot of players here today would have rejoiced in winning an intermediate medal and are going to try to end, win a, a junior medal to match it. We had Garrett Higgins was on the panel, David Lenehan, Shane Mulvey, Paul York, John Burns, John O'Rourke and Michael Cunningham. So they are looking to get add a little bit of a <coughs> collection. Now, nice crowd. Weather is very kind to us here in this evening in Cashel. Then is it the big trees at the back of the bowls there? So, Barry McKee now is looking for the ball. Can't start the game without the ball, and Jerry Benton coming across there, being called to give a ball in. Expected to be a very tight game. Come on, boy! Barry O'Farrell there. No changes, teams. Line now is selected. Come on, now, Barry, into the stand. Okay, Barry, good lad. Now, come on, now, come on, Shane. Come on, they're just testing the ball. Very happy with it. Seems to have the physicality in midfield. Barry Gedman made up a lot of young players and a lot of experienced players. Like Daniel O'Rourke has got a mile of jump. Can't one stop there tonight. John Burns, a young under 21 player, came through the academy at Carrick Sarsfield. Based by Dan Carberry and Charlie Burns. Everywhere, number eight. Come on, boys, you start. All right, he's looking his watch, and the game is on. And first up, the big man gets it. McCormick goes through. He's going to be tackled and tackled here. Heavily by the 11, James Farrell. Dermot leaves it there, cools it down. Up comes Shane Mulvey. Brother Mark, he's the ball into the corner. And up comes the, and the Valley Mahon team. You have it in control. Now it's... It's Cunningham has the ball, back out to number 13 now, number 13 is McGuire, McGuire, he kicks, he kicks it, the left foot goes wide, so the first fight in the game, Keith McGuire off his left foot and it goes wide, and James e. McCormick now, son of Tony McCormick, great servant for Ballymahan for many years. A very, very capable goalkeeper he has had a good season so far with the Billy Mahon Junior. Pat Corrigan sponsor, sponsored Junior A Championship. Number nine, Charlie Byrne, taking John Burns. Middle of the field. And a good kick out by Diaz of right there, deep into the heart. Coming across for his Barry Stewart, Barry O'Farrell, Barry O'Farrell. It's a tight. David Quinn, David Quinn, off his left foot, across. A good ball. Running onto it is Mikey Cunningham. Out comes the Pat Egan, out the far side of the field. And the red is on. Barry O'Farrell has got it. Stewart gets it. Stewart gets it. Stewart gets it. Stewart gets it. And the red as he's known. Red gives a tight ball, playing it very tight. But well taken there. And Dan Stewart has the ball now. He's coming, he's going through. He's been tackled, he's been tackled. Number seven, Paul York has it. Out down to Cunningham again. Cunningham looking for support. A low ball across. It's John O'Rourke out there, number 11. Playing out deep in the corner. From our vantage point here, it's quite difficult to see the name. Seems to be well played there by, by Garrett Murta there. Left playing the win, number two there for Bally Mahan. So, Harry Gedman, a bit of pressure early on. And a low ball, a poor ball into Cunningham. Cunningham gets the ball. He gives a long and a high dropping ball. It's dropping. McCormick is and well taken. It looks like a free in. Great take there. I take of the a great take by number 14 there. 
That's Gareth Dollar, the big man. Mother very much involved with the soccer, Rainey. So, they keep going here, look at it. Off his left peg. Should be scorable. He's taking his time, but a great take there by Gareth Flower of a high ball in by Michael Cunningham. And he maybe he got his hand in, maybe give away the free there, but a chance for the, open their count. Maguire, he hits, he delivers, and he kicks it goes forward. So first blood for the game. That's it, Shea, that's it, And probably at this stage away. of the game, a point to do it either. Harry gets one point back this year after losing the junior A final last year to their neighbours Thorgney. So it just shows you the squad of players they have. Carried the junior final and the intermediate final in one week. Up the ball goes, up the centre of the field. Right contested there and foul. Carried down, foul there. By the man trying to deliver a kick. The ball goes across the centre of the field to Graham Forbes. Son of Willie. We have Willie, father and son, on the panel tonight. Well done, boys! Number six is Matthew Daly. Matthew Daly, good ball. Into number 12, Eddie Noonan. Eddie Noonan there. He's high ball across. He's looking for the ball. Coming in. Come on, Eddie. And Dermot McCormick doing a bit of work. Get my match in, Mulder. Up to experience. James Tate, then full back. Long serving with Carrick Edmund. James has a good kick, he's going to give it long down this side of the field, that's exactly what he does. It's high, it's high, and under the ball, it's dropping, Horns goes up, he gets it, Niall Dowler, Niall Dowler, over to number Matthew Daly, Matthew Daly, up to Niall Dowler, Dowler has it now, up to Thomas Mavilla, Thomas Mavilla, Thomas Mavilla, number 30 is Pedro Bourne, Pedro Bourne, he's against the Niall Dowler, it's number 10, has the ball, Thomas Mavilla, Thomas Mavilla, Thomas Mavilla, Thomas Mavilla, a brilliant goal there for Barry Manning. A great goal there for Barry Manning there. Thomas Mulvihill there, a great goal. Well worked by Paddleborn, number 30, being, take up, being picked up there by David Lennon. Ball in the centre of the field. It's one there, one point and a, one goal to one point. And Bally Mahan under their first attack at a goal. The ball comes into the centre of the field, come into the corner. And out comes David Lennon. It's back into Johnny Nevin. Johnny Nevin, big man, being tackled there by David Lennon. He kicks, he kicks, and it's, uh, and it goes wide. So a kick out now for Garrett Higgins. One goal to one point. Bally Mahan haven't won it since 1960. Carrie Gibbon, 62. Shane Mulvey marking. James Farrell, a dangerous James Farrell, and it's Garrett Higgins out in the centre of the field. James it's dropping, it's dropping, and this is number 15. James Daly has it, James Daly into number 12. Eddie Noonan, Eddie Noonan involved in the last attack. He's been tackled by Lenahan. He's come coming through onto his left foot, he hits it, it's long, it's going, and it's going to the right and gone wide. Head up, guys. And Garrett Higgins there, been fronted there by Joe Beslin, number two, James Teig and David Lenahan. Half back line, Barry O'Farrell, Shane Mulvey, and Paul Bjork. And having a word there, James Take having a word with Garrett, Garrett Higgins. Midfield, Dermot O'Rourke and John Burns. Half forwarding, David Quinn, John O'Rourke and Michael Cunningham. And full forwarding, Keith Maguire, Garrett Flower and Patrick Egan. And Garrett Higgins now. Right, down to the centre of the field. Going up, going up there and the ball is broken there. Broken to the belly man coming away again. Belly man picking up the brakes. The younger, fitter player is a ball into Pedro Bourne. Going the bit of shade. Problem with James Tate reads that. He seemed to have burned it, but he gets away with a long ball, dropping down, and it's John O'Rourke is beaten to it by number 10, Thomas McBeal. See, it's starting to see a lot of ball. He's been tackled there by Quinn. The ball coming out to number 9, Charlie Byrne, brother of Pedro, been tackled. 
and been fouled and then Bally Mahan are anxious to get on with the ball and number 11 James Farr throwing it down he gives it now over to number 5 there number 5 is Niall Dowland Niall Dowland gives it a quick ball into into number 11 Farrell has the ball James Farr there son of Michaels and he's looking for it there and Paderborn one of the brothers of gear again he's looking up he gives it he gives it long dropping 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 Lenahan goes up with the ball he breaks it away that's got shouts and a great block down a great block down I think it was there by was it Michael Cunningham getting back so pressure is on for Ballymahan Ballymahan team James McCormick Garrett Murta James Noonan and Ian Mulvihill half back line Dowler Daly and Forbes full fo- full midfield Carberry and Bourne and half forward leave Mulvihill Farrell and Noonan full forward is Padder Bourne Johnny Nevin and James Daly and middle of the field now first 45 Thomas Mulvihill He's looking. He gets the distance. It's going. It looks good. It's been well taken there by James Teague. Very well taken. He's half back down. The ball dropping. Burns beating for the ball. And they're coming again. Here by Man of Farrell on the ball. He's looking for support. The support comes at the legs of Macho Daly. Meyer recycles the ball to Farrell. He's slowing it down. He gives it across. He can play away from goal. And number seven there is Graham Forbes being tackled there by number Paul York. Left ball goes into the corner and Daly away from his goal he's seeing a lot of possession early in the game he's onto his left foot he's been tackled he kicks it it's dropping it's dropping and it drops wide a bit of pressure there for Ballymahan have got the goal one goal to one point at this juncture of the game so good intensity so far the younger Team of Ballymahan bringing the fight to Carrigan. Carrigan started off very good in the first five minutes, but it's been all Ballymahan since. And Garrett Higgins now. He drives it, drives it down the throat, up the goal, up goes McCormick, gets his fist out. In comes Shimulvey. Mulvey now being tackled. And he overplays the ball. And they're getting the dirty ball, as they say. And Daly now in a good ball. This ball comes into number J- the J- brother James. The ball is well taken. And it's Bally Mahan on the attack. And it's Mulvihill again off his left peg. He kicks it and he kicks it over the bar. And number 12, it was Eddie Noonan that time who kicked out over the bar. And number 15, and there's a little bit of altercation off the ball between James Teague and James Daly. No love loss here today. Two neighbouring teams. Really up to win this. One goal and two points to one. One goal and one point to one point. Three point game. The ball driven down into the centre of the field again. Young David Quinn has it. He gets it. Good. And been fouled there. Fouled there by James Farrell. And Kerry Gedman need to lift the siege. And Shane Mulvey. Mulvey looking for runners. The supply has dried up for the last five minutes. The ball down the throat. Fowler going for the ball. He gets it. He gets it. But it's been taken off. Taken out there by Ian Mulvihill. And it's... it's uh, Mulvihill ends it up. Full back. James E. Noonan got that one. Works it out. Out to the wing. Being tackled there. And number five has the ball. Niall Dowler up along the far side of the field. Being tackled there by the Red Egan. The ball. No man's land. And Pedro Byrne showing good... A Leinster Championship medal with Longford this year. Also James Farr, number 11. Also won the Leinster Championship match a few years ago and the ball has been thrown and Parik McGee is going to be one of his, his little pets that he... Ball didn't strike, so Dermot doesn't agree with that. So the ball is off the left peg. This ball going into the corner. Being heavily tackled is James Farrell, there by Shane Mulvey. Be a good battle between the two of them. Shane won a county minor medal in 204. As did David Lennon, Paul York, John O'Rourke and Michael Cunningham. All experienced players. So this is a, another chance. 1-1 one, one to one point. A left put ends. Go and drop it. It's a dangerous ball. And it ended up on the net. But the referee had a blow and he was decisive in it. Good baby the referee. He was decisive. They're in the square. A lot of controversies over the last few weeks, but the referee this time left nothing to chance. He blew it early. The ball, Garrett Higgins down the centre of the field. Up the goal, Bully Mahan winning all the dirty ball. Rook seems to be foul that time. Tackle there by Michael Curryham was number nine there. 
Charlie Byrne. And Charlie Byrne gives it over to Matthew no, Daly. Matthew Daly, look for runners. Been tightened up in there. It's going to go. Drop long. It's drop long. James Ta- James Tag there in the engine the squares. Drops in towards him. He comes. He's collecting. He's he's strong. He's been tackled there once again there by John Nevin. He's been tackled strongly and still coming out with the ball. And the referee gives a free in there that time. And the ball being brought forward a little bit of indiscipline there. So an easier chance there for Ballymahan. James Tag not too happy with that decision. And indeed some of the Carrie Gedman supporters not too happy either. So number 10, Thomas Mavia has a chance to put a four point game. He kicks it, it's drifted in and kicks it off the right foot and it goes in one, two to a one point. So Bally Mahan have put the pressure on on the last eight minutes or so and have rewarded with a goal and two points. A good kick there by Thomas Mavia. And John Lennon be moved over on Padraborn, number four, Johnny Lennon. Or David Lennon on to Padraborn, where number four, up the ball goes, up goes John Burns, he lets it fall, David Quinn looks for it, gives it to Barry Farr, Barry Farr is in the corner, Keith Maguire being ch- run, be challenged there by Ian McVeal. Pete Maguire gets it off his left foot. He gives it across, right across into O'Rourke. O'Rourke now, a tidy little player, sets it, trying to set it up. Played in goals, and the ball is lifted in, and out to come. And the ball goes down, and number goes down to Ian Mavihal, coming out. Pulled back for Ballymahan, are playing well now in the ball. And here comes Ballymahan, looking for a support. He's looking for a long ball. The ball is given in over the head and taken out there over the head of number 15, James Daly. As I say, a hospital ball. Well won back there by number nine there, Charlie Bourne. Charlie Bourne, he's been fouled. And he's been fouled by the big man, Dermot O'Rourke. And been noted as well. The ball is given into the corner. The corner there. Out comes Shane Mulvey. Reads down well. He doesn't take it first time. David Lennon has it now. David Lennon gives it. Fists it. As I said, Dermot McCormick did very well to get that. Down, down to number seven there is Paul York. Paul York, the big man there. He's been fouled and he's been pulled and dragged. And he gets the free. Number 12 there, Eddie Nolan. Pull them down there. The ball, a drop and a high ball, drop it in. Up to come across there, David. David Quinn getting a lot of ball. He kicks it high. It's dangerous ball. It's dropping. It's a dropping ball. He gets it in. And out comes, and it's his. Over, over there, I think it is number 12, Michael Cunningham. He's looking for it, and he kicks it, he's kicks it, and he kicks it over the bar. A good score by Michael Cunningham, who's back from a, a severe injury to a couple of years ago. He got involved, uh, unfortunately, had a bad injury to his foot, and he came back after a lot of rehabilitation, and he's back with the blue and gold colours, and a great score there. He foraged, and he followed up, and he got the left foot to bring the ball, score back to one goal and two points, two points. James McCormick now. He kicks it out to this side of the field, out to stand side of the field. One there by David Prynne, playing very well. Prynne off the left foot, another high ball. This is the, 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 the policy, and it's coming in, and the goalkeeper coming out. McCormick has the ball. He gives it out, taken there by number seven there, Graham Forbes. Graham Forbes. And, a ball to Bourne, Bourne wins it, uh, tackled by McCormick, the ball comes across once again to Matthew Daly, Daly has the ball, he gives it, out to this far Dowler now, Dowler, he's looking for support, he comes into his left, he gives it, and he overplays it, the referee pulls it too many steps, and I would say he probably got that one right. Goals win games, Ballymahan have won so far, a tight game, lowest scoring so far. It'll probably go down the wing. The ball is high. A high dropping ball under the lights. So we said we have a good, nice night tonight. Cunningham is the ball. Cunningham fouled. He's looking for support. The ball goes down. And out comes Maguire. Maguire, he lets it under his legs. He's still fighting for it. And he's, he drops in the ball. Tipping quickly to Daly. Daly's seen a lot of ball. He gives it to Byrne. Byrne on the support there. Now the support comes in the legs of Niall Dowler. Dowler. Gives it up the side of the field. Number 12, Eddie Noonan now. Eddie Noonan off his left foot. He's been tackled there. He's still been tackled by York. A good battle between the two of them. And York coming away with the ball. He comes away. He's heavily tackled. He's been tackled again and he gets the free. The ball was wrenched from his hand by Johnny Nevin. And well played there, there by Paul York. Paul York now. Gives it to Shane Murphy. Shane Murphy down the field. It's David Quinn. He loses that one. 
and he's been pushed. David Quinn showing very well. And number five there, Barry O'Farrell with the ball now. Barry Farrell gives it the lead. This is to, Mike, to John O'Rourke. John O'Rourke gives it once again. Out to Barry O'Farrell. A high dropping ball. It's dropping. It's taken there by Cunningham. He's through. Cunningham has been tackled. He's been heavy. A ball is recycled. Out to kick Maguire. Maguire kicks. And he kicks and it looks good. And a two point game. One ball and two points and three points. Great bit of play there by the Carrick Edmund forward line. A high dropping ball was recycled. Maguire coming in on it. And he kicks it off with left peg. So two scores there for Maguire there. One by Cunningham. So Carrick Edmund have scored the last two games. They're back in the game. One goal and two points and three points. James McCormack now looking for runners, but it's probably down once again. It comes out over the stand side of this field. Up goes Quinn. Up gets knocked down there by number 10 there, Thomas McVeal. Been taken up there. And the ball coming across. This side by McVeal. McVeal and gives it up to Byrne. Byrne now looking. A nice ball into the centre. A good ball into Daly. Daly gets the ball. He gives Shane Morgan the skip. He's looking for support. He's looking. He's looking for support and he's gone on his left foot. He's still looking for support. And he gives it across to Farrell. Farrell gives it to Mavihal. Mavihal now. He's not going to go off his right foot. He sees it and he overplays it. And the back line were up, stood up to it. They made him play the ball. Barry O'Farrell and Lennon played well there. Oh, so the picture was Joe, Joe Beslin there. And you recruited the Kerry Gilman team. The ball. And it comes out to John Lennon. He loses the ball. Or David Lennon. He loses the ball. Been tackled there. Number 10 is Thomas McVeal. Playing well. Ball is up to Farrell. Farrell taken there once again by Farrell. Barry Farrell. Getting it into Maguire. Maguire on his chest now. He's looking. He's looking for support. He gets another high one in. The ball is coming to Flower. Flower, a big man. He seems to be fouled. He seems to be fouled. And here comes another chance. It's a, a, it's a, a, a foot block. It was it a foot block or was it a sliding tackle? The referee doesn't give it. He's the man in the centre. He's the man that makes the decision. The ball comes out to Byrne. Byrne has the ball. Tackled there by Burns. Burns has a good battle in the middle of the field. In comes the roar. Roar gives a quick one. And the referee doesn't let it go. And it's going to be a name taken there. And the tensity is risen. The, the bar has been risen now. Well done, the tackles are going well in. It's a final to be played for. No final is easy one. And the two teams are in battle. And you see the two sets of supporters, the Carrie Gidman supporters underneath us here, getting behind their team. A two point game. Keith Maguire, a difficult kick, 45 metres out. And an injury on the far end of the field, I think it is. Is it uh, Carrie Gidman, Gareth Flower? Or is it Eddie Noonan? Or James e. Noonan? Calls for a penalty there. And Keith Maguire seems to be going in in that corner, but Keith has the ball now. It's scorable, it's difficult. A bit of cuteness now as he hits it off the left foot. He doesn't get the distance, does he? It's dropping and dropping. Referee is given the free out once once the player is near the square at all. I part of is not going to be caught tonight in any controversy. Ball is out the centre of the field and it's been taken there. Maguire reads it well. A little bit of intelligence there. He's not alert. He kicks it. It could be drifting. It could be a good kick. Or it just drifts to the right. A good effort there. He's prepared to have a go. He killed the ball. So the game is going from one end of the field to the other. Kerry Gedman on top now for the last five minutes. Bally Mahan had their purple patch there a few minutes ago. Both teams well deserve to be in the final. As I said earlier, Grattan's Keane and Cashel were their group were in their group and the beat Drumard. Bally Mahan beat or Kerry Gedman beat Drumard. In the semi-final on a free there. And referee. Having a word there, is it? Cooling things down, making sure the free is taken in the right place. And the ball is keeping a low ball, low ball. This is into David Quinn. David Quinn. He looks using a little bit of taking a while to get him. And the back ball again is it Cunningham, is it? Cunningham has the ball. He recycles it. Pick it in there by Quinn. He deserves the score and it goes over. It's a different kick. And it's to the left. It's a point. The referee has given a point. Have we a one point game? We have a one point game. Well done, Barry. Well done. Well done, Barry. Well done. 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 Well done.
A one point game and McCormick at the kick out. James McCormick, centre of the field. And this win there, one there by David Quinn, starting to win a few balls. And the ball being brought in, a bit of discipline. Back chat there, and a chance here for Carrie Gedman. And who's going to take it? It's Keith McGuire this time once again. Keith McGuire kicks it, it's drifted, it's drifted, it's drifted to the right way. So one point in it still. A chance there for Harry Gedman to level it up, but unfortunately he got a good connection on it, but it fit to the right of the goals and wide, wide. So James McCormack now, the busier two keepers for the last 10 minutes, comes up to kick out this ball. Face there by James E. Noonan and Gareth Flower, the ball out to the right hand side of the field, up the goal. And taken there by Burns, he tucks it out of the clouds. And a nice ball, a quick ball, intelligent ball. Ball is into the red. The red, he turns, he kicks, he gets good. And it's over. And the red delivers. Paddy Egan. Paddy Egan, experienced Kerry Edmund, kicks it over from a great catch by John Burns. He got down, he didn't, he looked up, and he gave a good score, a good pass into the red. And the linesman is having word here with the Pori McGee. So did we see something off the ball? Or did we not? And the ladies man Tony Gaffney Mostrum. And the Pori McGee is going to have a word with is it John Lennon or is it Paderborn? Is there words being exchanged or is it too little bit but good teamwork there by the officials? Game has been played an intense place, but they're a clean game. So they're getting a ticket. No yellow. So draw game. We said it was going to be tight, we said it was going to be close, and that's exactly what it is. Ball in the centre of it, Burns gets his fist, but trying to fist it, but it's fisted away. And it's Tommy Donahoe doing the political, political thing, he's throwing it up, offend nobody. In front. In so, Corey McGee to throw it up between the two big men. The burden is it, and McCormick gets his fist to it, and the ball breaks. To, to, to Dermot McCormick, Dermot McCormick, low ball in, it comes in to, it looks to be fouled, and he handles it on the ball, a very unfortunate there by, I think it was, was it David Quinn there, went for the wrong small one, or the quick one. The ball is given quick, as well taken this time by David Lennon, almost, he almost got a bit of a great interception, ball got Thomas Weehill, Weehill, gets the return, and he's coming through, he's been tackled, he's been, he's been tackled again. He's running into and it's a free. He's uh, been double tackled from behind by David Lennon. So it's a chance here. A quick break there by the Thomas Bavia. Got the return and it's a chance to put Bally Mahan one point ahead again. Playing into the cash, I suppose the town end we'll call it. A nice crowd here. A nice crowd for a Friday evening. He kicks it, he delivers. It looks good from here. And it's gone wide. Very deceptive from the view we have here. Declan Gilmore sponsored trailer here. We're sitting on here tonight. And the draw game, I suppose the free taking hasn't been up to top class. The lights and everything else makes it a little bit different than the dead game. And the green and Garrett Higgins out to the centre of the field. Garrett Sub on the minor team. Well taken by Farrell. Brilliantly taken. Been tackled by Mavihel. Ball is down. That's a dangerous ball. Out to come. And that man there, Daly again. Having a great game for Bally Mahan. He's looking for support. He's coming inside. Takes on Keith Maguire. Comes up along the left hand side. He takes the inside. Be tackled by Burns. And be fouled by Burns. He won that well and be well supported there by Ian Mulvihill there. Mulvihill now, looking for runners, looking for runners. And being well marked and Daly makes himself available like any good footballer does. He's looking in the inside, he gives it back. Go back to Bourne, Bourne up to number five, Niall Dowler, who has a brother here to play into on the foul. Son, James Farrell, senior experience, son of Mike, gives the ball in. Been fouled there, tackled there, and James Tague been caught. And in that work, he's taken and well taken in by Barry Farrell there. Barry Farrell, Barry O'Farrell there was quick, and James Tague gives it quickly down to Paul York. Paul York, we're number seven. Down over the far side of the side. There's 
and he's been fouled, he seems to be fouled in pull down. A nice crowd over gathered on the far side of the field, down by the dugout, down by the, the clubhouse there. And for a Friday night, it's a great crowd. And the ball dropping down. It's one there by the Ballymahan back line. Out to come. Out comes Garrett Murta with the ball. Ball cleared. A left footed. A good ball. Up to number eight. Number eight, that is Dan Carberry. He's coming, making down. He's going to be confronted by Farrell. He's still going. Off the right. He comes inside. And tackled and fouled. And but he gets the free. He ran too far to the ball. And Barry O'Farrell came across there. He covered a great lot of ground. And Burns has the ball now. He's down the far side of the field. Left, right. He gives it left. He gives it across. Across to come. Esther Red has it, as he knows, he has it, Daly has it. And it comes away with the ball now. Matthew Daly, up along the field, and he gives it a burn. Burn now, he has speed, he has talent, he's a nice player. He's still, and he's carrying the ball. The ball is dropped in. And if he tack, Farrell's going to tackle him, Daly, he gives it into Burn. Burn, he kicks any point. Did he carry it too far, did he not? He seemed to carry it, but puts Fanny Mahan back in the driving seat again. There seemed to be a lot of steps going through, but he came at the end of it, he made it, he went the return, and I suppose he deserved it, a great score there. A ball that was well won initially there by Matthew Daly. Recycled up the field, and at the end of it, he deserved a score, was Padre Byrne, wearing number 30. Shane Mulvey now being switched, number six being switched on Padre Byrne. And going into the centre is David Lenehan. The ball dropping, the, up goes Big Dan, Big Man Dermot goes up, he's beaten this time. Well Farrell has it again, seeing a lot of mileage, seeing a lot of ball. Well and Farrell being tackled there. And across there it comes, the ball comes across there to number 12, Eddie Noonan. Eddie off his left peg, he's still being tackled, he recycles the ball. That ball comes out to Burns, the ball has been tackled, he's been tackled, he's... And he oversees over a play and the ball will be brought forward again. Referee very sharp on these. Overplaying the ball, so another chance for Bally Madden. So number 10, Thomas Mavia slowing it down. Off the right peg, should be scorable. He's nailed one or two so far. <coughs> Is it? It looks dropping. And it's a two point game. Two point game, Bally Madden in the lead by two points. <coughs> So the score now is one goal and four points to five points. One four, the goal is the difference really. One goal of four points to five points for Kerry Gedmond. And the ball up the centre of the field, up goes Farrell, Farrell being nudged in the half-back line for Bally, for Kerry Gedman under a lot of pressure. Number nine, John Burns. Gives it, this is John O'Rourke, beaten to the ball this time. Mikey Cunningham beaten to the ball, comes across there. Joe Breslin going in, loses the ball. The ball is recycled there by Bally Mahan. Seems to be a little bit more dangerous going forward, number seven. There is Graham Forbes, son of the great Willie. He gives a quick ball, the that ball goes in to Burn. Burn now being confronted there by Joe Beslin. A dropping, high dropping ball. David, the big man McCormick gets it. McCormick gets it. He gives it a good ball. This ball comes into John O'Rourke. John O'Rourke in goal, in goals for the other for the minor team in 204. He's looking for support. That support is not coming. He has been fouled and probably lucky enough to get the free free. Bally Mahan seemed to have that extra man in the back line. That extra man is Matthew Daly. And David Quinn there coming deep for the ball. The Kerry Gedman players have to come very, very deep for this ball. But also Kerry Gedman have Eugene McCormick wear number 17. A ball down into the corner. He may see some action at some stage. Keith Maguire in the corner being tackled there by Ian McVeal. And Maguire playing very well. He has gets this little he gets the power, he gets his foot to the ball. It's looked dangerous. He's trying to come inside. He seemed to and it's, the red, the red out to Cunningham. Cunningham, a nice ball dropping. It's going to be a dangerous ball. It's going up the goal. Burns goes up with it. Who? It's a Ballymahan number five. Dies out or has it? And it's a free kick. And a, this is a chance for Creek Maguire. He should nail this one. <laughs> and Cunningham now with the ball. Michael Cunningham taking over the free taken. He kicks it and he kicks it good and through and it's over the bar. So it's one goal and four points to six points. <laughs> We're into the last few minutes of the first half. 
a very interesting first half indeed. Game very tight. Back to a one point game. <coughs> and the ball comes out, and there's the final whistle for the first half. And a two, a one point game, one goal, and four points to six points. And we look forward to a very, very interesting second half. With the score, Carrie Gedman, six points, Bally Mahan, one goal, and four points. A one point lead by Bally Mahan. We'll be looking for suit changes. We'll look and see if there ch changes here on the Bally Mahan team. I'm looking out here. No, the referee is in the first half looking for a Lee Rodge. And Toshi Chop that he has the ball and a good catch by the referee as well there. So, manager Paul Kelly had have strong words in the Ballymahan dressing room with the selectors Wayne Kelly and Albert Fallon. And likewise, Jerry Belton and Damian Moore and Sean O'Neill in the Kerry Gedman dressing room. And the game is on. And Dermot up for the ball. Dermot, as in the first half, gets the ball. The ball is driven down into this corner and into the corner. And, out. and here comes... Fowler has the ball and he has the runner in the goal. Gareth Fowler, he keeps a brilliant save there. It's been and a great save by the keeper. That keeper there is James McCormack. He earns his wages there. A great save there from number 14 there, Gareth Fowler. So So Niall Dowler there, back in his own goal mount. He gives it out to this side of the field, out underneath us. And number 12 coming for the ball is Eddie Nolan. Eddie Nolan going down for the ball, being tackled there by Paul York. Paul York fouling him, hand on the back, definitely a foul. Referee has it right. And number 12 there. And down and down. Tensity going, Byrne has the ball, he fetches it high. Tackled by O'Rourke, O'Rourke. And the ball is given down. Number two there, Gareth Murta away from his own goal. He gives it in, into Byrne. Byrne back to Murta. Murta, high ball, dropping across. And it's... Bur it's burned now, a long high ball, dropping, 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 dropping wide. A good move there with Garrett Murta moving up the field there. Taking a return pass from Charlie Byrne and Byrne driven it right to the post and wide. <coughs> Even the score, one goal and four points to six points still. A chance there for a goal, a chance there for, was it Garrett Fowler there? Flower going in. A good save by the keeper, number five, Barry Afar with the ball, up the save field now. Now going for the ball now is Joe Beslin, beaten by the lane. And a line ball there for Bally Mahan. Going to be taken there by Dan Carberry. He gives it down, long into the right corner. And the ball has been taken out. And number 10, Tommy Mulvihill there with the ball, recycles it to Borden. Borden now, onto his left, onto his right. He gives it back and well blocked down. Seems to burn it on the ground there. And Michael Farrell going for the ball there, James Farrell there. <laughs> Referee take a note there. Good bit of play by James Farrell there. 38 years ago since Carrie Gedman brought this cup to the Cole Hill area. <laughs> and it's 40 since Bally Mahan, so where's the celebrations going to be tonight? Could we have a draw? Could we have another night in the sun, as the fella says? And the ball up along the end of the field, and a driven out, bad kick there by was it Barry O'Farley. He hasn't done many bad things tonight, but it kicks it out over the end line. <laughs> and number three there, Jamesy Noonan, had a good first half. He gives it down, and the ball being played along the, over the far side of the field, away from our area altogether. And the ball's coming onto the ball, very strong as Mulvihill there. Mulvihill there. He was coming on strong and free, free there by... Is it Barry Farrell gives away that? So a chance here for the red and whites, Bally Mahan. Number 10, Thomas Mulvihill. About 35 metres out. He kicks it through, he kicks it, looks good, and it looks, he nails it, he nails it, he delivers a great score there. A good kicker is of a ball there at number 10 there, Thomas Mulvihill. And we see a bit of action here on the, on the Kerry Gedman substitute. We see Mel York wearing number 18. We see him getting ready, getting warmed up. And we also see the veteran, the great Juju McCormack. He's coming on here now.
So Jerry Belton giving instructions there, and number 17, Eugene McCormick coming in, and number 18, Mel York, brother of Paul's, another of the brothers. And coming off is Joe Beslin, we're number two there for Kerry Gedman, coming off. So Eugene will probably go straight in at full forward. Great servant, he'd be picked up, I think, by Gareth Murta. The ball is up in the mid centre of the field, up to go. Hands on their back, was spotted by the referee, and it comes to is it comes to Dan Carberry, is it Dan across the far side of the field? That man there again, number 15, is James Daly. Good first half, the ball is being picked in and being pickpocketed there. Well robbed there by Thomas Mulvihill. Thomas Mulvihill out to Murta. Murta playing a little bit more a forward this time. A high dropping ball. Dropping by Eddie Noonan. Goes up. Up comes James Teague. He drops the ball. And a great save by Garrett Higgins. Off his own full back there. A very alert. Goalkeeper there is Garrett Higgins. He gave it out. And the, Carrie Gedman getting it difficult to get it out. He gives it long. Teague gives it out. If in doubt, you get it out. Up comes David Quinn. Beating the ball. But he's handling the back there. Handling the back there by Niall Dowler. <coughs> And it's John Burns gives a nice ball. This is looking, this is good. And another hand in the back there. But it got away. Well played there by number three, James Noonan. Playing very well. Been taken there by Flower there. Flower, a good ball into Cunningham. Cunningham wins it. First touch, very good. He's looking off his left peg. A good ball into Eugene. The man has it. He's going, he I go down. He's been tackled heavily and he gets a free. A free there by Kerry Gedman. A rash tackle there by James Noonan. He rushed, jumped in very quickly. Probably a little over anxious there. He, an ex experienced Eugene McCormack went down, got the ball in his hand and won it. And also taking up a tick there for his efforts as James Noon. So a chance here for Michael Cunningham to level it up. Around you, that's it. Hurry on, come on, a bit more driving. Come on. And in Michael Cunningham nails it. They're leaving the score now. One ball of five points to seven points. Still a one point game. Scores in the first half. Thomas McVeigh got two points. Eddie Noonan got a point. Heather Bourne got a point. And Johnny Neville with a crucial goal. Scores for, for Gary Gedmond. His David Quinn with two. Keith Maguire with one. Michael Cunningham now with two. And Patrick Egan with a point. <laughs> So the ball drops out this side of the field. One point, up the goal. Hands in the back, but that's spotted once again. And this Boris, born with the ball. He's a nice player, very nice player. Down the wing and he runs out of space. A very athletic player, himself and his brother pa Pedro. Nice Gaelic players. And the ball being given. It's Pilot Paul York down there. <coughs> He's looking to go to give up the line. The ball goes high, high, dropping, dropping. Burns has it. He catches it first time. And he gives it now. Burns has the ball. A high dropping ball. A dangerous ball. Up the goal. Up. Flower goes up. Corina has it. Corina has it. He he kicks it. Oh, and it just goes wide. The crowd is Michael call, calling for a foul there, but well tackled there by number number t seven there. Graham Forbes came in, covered the space, but a chance there for Carrie Gedman. A good chance there. Ball broken there by Garrett Flower. Cunningham was in it. Just got it onto his weaker. And he's been picked up there now by Niall Dowler. It's gone over on him. And the ball is big David Quinn, a nice little player, playing very well. He still has it. He's onto his left, he's onto his right. He gives a nice fist of pass into the red. The red has it now. The red, he's looking up. Or is McGuire, Keith McGuire. It's a good ball. It's a difficult ball. It's, it's a free out. And you can guarantee it once the ball is going in high into the square, the whistle will blow. He's not going to be caught out. And Garrett Murta. Back to his own region, but not going to be allowed. He tackled by Eugene. Eugene tackled him. He tackled by Cunningham. He's he's carrying the ball and he overplays the ball. And between Cunningham, between Cunningham, McCormack, and the ball has been brought in. And the discipline of the Ballymatham players are being questioned now. The pulling and dragging. There's a little bit of intensity drawn in, and this is where players have to keep their nerve. So the ball has been brought in. A chance now by Cunningham. Another chance. A little bit of indiscipline there by the Bally Mahan team there. Ball being brought forward twice in the space of three minutes. A chance now by Cunningham. He kicks it good, he kicks it through and he delivers. We have a draw game here in Cashel. We have a draw game here in Parkick here and in Cashel. In the junior Pat Corrigan Transport Junior A Football Championship Final of 2010. 
and we have a game in our hands here. And as I say now, the team that wants it is the team that's going to get it. And the crowd are getting behind both sets of players. A good intense game. And the ball once kicked out again by James McCormick. Up the goal, up go Burns. The ball. He's beaten to this. Him. And it's uh, Dan Carberry gets it. He gives it out to Niall Dowler. Dowler recycles it. That ball to Garrett Murta. A good ball by Murta. The burn. Burn now. He looking up. He tries a dummy. He gets in. Eugene fouls him and is fouled here by Dermot. The two veterans. They get the hold of him. The ball is dropped in. Has we the next score is going to be pardoned. And number 14 running for us, John Nevin. The goal scorer in the first half. He's been tackled by Lenehan. He's looking for support. That support coming in the shape of a foul there. Jamesy Farrell, he's working through. He gives it to a chance for and a good effort there by and a great score, I think, is by over the bar by John Nevin. We have the first fisted point of the day. A great score. He was being tackled there by James Tegan, David Lenehan, but he got his fist to it and he puts back Barry Mahan back in a one point lead. A great counter attack there, a great ball into the corner there. Well worked, four or five passes went, and the ball eventually comes to Johnny Nevin. A goal scored in the first half, and he puts a pint on it. He tags a pint to put the Ballymahan back to a one pint lead. And Garrett Higgins now. He's going to go, he's looking for runners. That ball is the runner out this side of the field. The ball comes out. It's taken there by Barry Stewart, Barry Farrell. Barry Farrell, he come into the centre. He's he's looking up, he's looking for some hard. That's a ball, the ball, at the end of the ball. The ball is taken there. It's taken there by the wing back for, for Barry Mahan. Barry Mahan there, and that wing back is number seven, Graham Forbes. Playing well. He's looking then coming to Garrett Murta. They're recycling the ball good. They're not panicking. That ball has it again. Matthew Daly. Up to Murta. Murta seeing a lot of ball. The ball is into number 12, Eddie Noonan. Noonan with the ball. A good ball into Daly. Daly looking onto his get onto his left foot. He's seen tackled there. Tackled by well taken by Mulvey. Mulvey, Mulvey coming out of the ball. Been fouled there. Good play by the Curry Gilman. The intensity of the game has risen. And the second half, there's good battles going on out there, individual battles. A lot of ball going through the centre of the field. And it's Farrell now, looking for runners. <coughs> he kicks it up the side of the field. A good ball, up goes the big man Dermot, just to get his hands to it. And the ball there, dropped in, a good ball into Daly. Daly now recycles it, the ball comes to Byron. Byron has gone through, this looks dangerous. He kicks it, it's going to drift, it's drift and Garrett Higgins has it. Higgins looking for support. The sport is a good ball there. Burns out, Gunner to get it. Burns kicks it, a long ball. This is for the runners. That runner there is, is Gareth Flower. Flower beaten by Noonan. Noonan, a good ball. And Cunningham comes in and it's, it's like a, nearly a back pass. And James McCormick, lots of time. He gives the ball out to that man again. Murta, Murta now looks for support. Support comes from Daly. Daly now, out to Murta. Murta being tackled. And the ball has gone down. The number nine downer. Downer having a good game. He's looking for support. That support comes in the way. And a tackle and burn has it now. Pedro Byrne and Barry Mahan in full flow here now. He kicks a long ball. The ball is dropping in. It's dropping. It's dangerous. And it's dropping to the left and wide. A good promising move. That end of it, zero. But Barry Mahan came with intent there, good movement there by Garrett Murta and Niall Dowler and good tackles going in by Shane Mulvey down there and Paul York and the ball, we have an even Steven here now <coughs> one goal Ballymah one goal at six points, Carrick eight points a one point game and that ball out the centre of the field, up good to go and it's one there, Paul York fists it on. It's the, and number 12 there, Eddie Noonan. Eddie Noonan has the ball. A good ball, a very good ball. Into Jamesy Farrell. Jamesy has it there. Jamesy recycles it well. He kicks it, Byrne kicks it. It looks, he just slices it. A golfer slice there and pulls it. He pulls it in the left post. And number 31, I see. Tugga warming up for Ballymahan. Number 31, is it Shane O'Neill? Nephew of the great Mick. Michael. Michael Kenny there and Jim Kenny, I think he's a nephew there, Shane O'Neill coming on, number 31. So he won't get a loss around here, he won't get a loss around Cashel. And if he does, somebody will take him in that knows him. And the ball out to the centre of the field, this by James Tigg, a low ball, a dangerous ball, and it's been taken in there by Padre Borey, slides in, wins it well, into Noonan now, Eddie Noonan, onto his left foot. Oh, he, it looks very much like a throw, 
It looked very much like a throw, and this could be dangerous. And he, the man has it, the sub has it. He kicks it, he kicks it high, and there would have been severe questions asked if this ball is not cleared. And that ball comes out, and the ball comes out, and and the James Farrell picks it up very well and be fouled. James Farrell does the simple things right. He picked it up on his toe, and there's a chance here for Ballyman, leading by a point at this stage. We have about 14 minutes gone in the second half, and a chance here for James Farrell, or is it number Thomas Mulvihilde coming out? He's uh, Linesman over there, telling him to come out a bit further, it's still a difficult kick. Ballyman slightly winning the midfield battle at the moment. The ball is kicked, he kicks it through. It looks a good kick, it's a great kick. And that's good kicking by Thomas Mulvihill. He's nailed two in his half as well. So a two-point game, Ballyman are in the back foot, or the front foot of this time. Carrie Gedman losing by two points. We have one goal and seven points for Ballymahan. Eight points for Carrick. That's a 10 set eight game. Goals win games. And how important was that goal early in the game? Pori McGee out the centre of the field. Playing good spirit this game this evening. Between arch rivals Ballymahan and Carrick Gammon. Up the goal in the centre of the field. Up goes Burns. Burns gets his fist to it. Burns, there's, there's Charlie Burns and there's John Burns. And there's a pens on the way you spell them. There's a Y and a U. And there's a free kick. A t- ball taken by James Farrell. Winning a lot of very important ball. Winning a lot of dirty ball. And this was a chance. A Thomas McVeal chance. He an easier kick than the last one. He should nail this. And this could put Bally Mahan in a three-point lead. There were four points up early in the first half. But they were tagged back. This will put that three-point in it. It's a fairly easy, comfortable kick. And a, a yellow car being ticked. Be picked up there by Barry O'Farrell, maybe for persistent fouling, and he kicks it. And I just put the, I just put the commentators' curse on him, Thomas Bevel. I just put the commentators' to curse on you because I, I could have nailed you for that one. A bad, bad wide there by Bally Mahan. So the, the simple ones are the ones you take your time on. So a bad miss, a reprieve there. So Carrie Gedman. Could it be vital in the end? Could that three be vital in the end? But Bally Mahan are winning all the midfield battles. And a dirty ball win there by Shane Mul- Mulvey. Shane Mulvey, a brother of Marty's, won in the, in the middle of it last Sunday. The ball being kicked and, be t- and, and, and down like Lansdowne Road. Lansdowne Road, Matthew Daly dived on the ball but was pushed maybe. Matthew, Matthew. And a player being down there, referee oh, hold, the holding up, rightly so, we're just looking round there. And number 12 there, Eddie Noonan, playing a fine game for Ballyman, in the tick of all the action. Having a great Hello. battle there with Paul York. Matthew. He's taking a bit of attention there, uh, an injury to his right foot, I think, nothing too serious, hopefully. And we have Tommy Donahoe over here on linesman this side of the field for the second half. So far, and maybe a change here going on the Bally, on the Kerry Gedman team. I see Barry O'Farrell could be going midfield now at the moment. Barry Mann certainly up the tempo in the second half. Bar for an early scare there where James McCormack had a very good save there from great Graham Gareth Flower and big Dermot there in the middle of the field. He kicks it long, high dropping ball, going to the right. Up goes John Burns. John Burns beaten to it again, once again there. And it's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. The ball has been, been driven away from goals anyhow. In comes McCormack. McCormack wins the ball, but wins it unfairly. Wins it unfairly. Ball being brought forward now. Porig by a bit of, bit of discipline there. And foul there by Eugene McCormack. Eugene maybe had the elbow a little bit near his shoulders. He manager of the manager of the Carrick Edmund team last Sunday to a great victory over Ballymore. So the ball is driven down and the scores have dried up for the moment. And we're over halfway of the second half. And the ball up the corner of the f- up and it's taken there by Carrick Edmund. Number nine there is it. It's been fouled and been fouled and every ball has been being contested with great venom now at the moment. Up to, over to come. Number 15. Back in the half back in James Daly. Playing very well. Back out to Burn. And Bally Mahan have to have winning the middle field battles now. And up to Burn. They have the legs. They have the 12 under 21s playing out there and maybe more. Up here to come again. 
being tackled there and being a free and being sandwiched, shall we say, between by the Jujin over there and Barry O'Farrell and Shane Mulvey, I think, over the far side of it. And the ball has been brought forward again. So discipline on both sides have been questioned. And that gives Thomas Mulvey, he missed an easier chance and he got a great one earlier on in the, in the second half. And this is a chance to make up for the one he missed. Still a difficult kick. He strikes it a lot better, he strikes it well. And the farther they're out, the easier it is to him. So he makes up for that easy chance to Thomas Mayville to put a three point game. The score at the moment one ball and eight points to eight points. And there's changes, number 18 there for Carrie Gedmond. Mel York seems to have gone midfield on number eight, Dan Carberry. The ball is kicked out, centre of field by James Teague. Up the goal, up McCormick gets it, he doesn't. And well won there by Pedro Bourne, or Charlie Bourne there. Takes a heavy tackle there, the ball is cleared over the far side of the field. Far side of the field. And here comes Mavihel, or Noonan, Noonan. Gives the ball, well taken out there by John Bournes. And Tommy Donahoe there, definitely with the line ball there for Bally Mahan. John Bourne's off, John Bourne's last. Number 31 there. Shane O'Neill there, contesting it, big man, ball comes across, this ball comes across the Bourne, well taken out there, and here comes James Farrell, hey nice, pick up, it doesn't just come off, Bourne has it, he's been tackled, he's been surrounded, he's been, and he throw, and it's a referee gets that for a throw, and Kerry Gedman, is it Barry O'Farrell over the far side, take a little bit of a hit that time, referee holds it up, <coughs> and the evening here has got quite chilly, but a great crowd is enjoying a very, very good, intense game, and the, ref, the ball is cleared up to the centre of the field. That ball, Carrie Gedman, they're living on scraps, and them, and the ball, and that's that man again, Mike Matthew Daly, had a tremendous first half, and he's seeing off this ta attack as well. And that ball comes to number nine, Charlie Bourne. Charlie working very hard. It comes across the Daly to Bourne. Bourne gives it in. James Farr wins it. Wins it up, David Lenehan. He's uh, he's playing very well. Son of Michael, well known Michael, a great GA. Official, a great GA supporter, gives it to Daly. Daly, he gets a lovely ball. He gives it in two. Padre Bourne, he kicks it high. The ball coming across this side of the field. And Daly has it, seems to have lots of space. Out to Noonan. Noonan onto his left peg. Being tackled, gives it low. And uh, Murta being tackled again. And Bally Mahan re getting, get, recycling the ball very well. The ball coming through. And number, it's a dropping ball up to come. And, it's, and here Noonan at the ball, Noonan, a low ball, comes out to Daly, Daly being tackled there by Mulvey, Mulvey's going to go down, he gets the ball away and the ball is going for a line ball for a little bit of reprieve for, for the Bally, for the Kerry Gedman men, they're under the cosh, they've been under the cosh for most of this half and I see another substitute coming in for Kerry Gedman, number 16, Gerard Maloney, the big man Gerard Maloney coming in and coming off is Gareth Flower. Had a good game, Garrett now. Played very well. Caused a lot of problems there, Garrett. Being replaced there by Gerard Maloney. Very good under 16, very under good, good minor. Very good first touch. Can he be the man to get that goal for Carrick Edmund? Gerard Maloney, we're number 16. Under a little bit of runner up here is done on both sides now at the moment. Game being played at great intensity. And I see Paul Kelly there looking very anxiously. The ball is kicked. Up goes down and it's been taken on. It's a, a line ball. For, line ball for Tommy Donahoe. Line ball for... He gives it to Bally Mahan. And I think he's right. Referee Paul McGee having a good game. He's fighting everything. A great run there by Murta. He's showing up very well in the second half. He's tackled by Eugene McCormack. Murta going to pull into his right. Right, he gives it. He gives it very short. Into far. Seen a lot of ball. He's been tackled there by Lenahan. Comes across there. He's going to recycle it. A good ball across by Farrell. But Dermot, here comes Dermot, big Dermot. Big Dermot beaten to the ball this time. The ball comes into. It's been blocked there. John Burns trying to get to the ball. He goes down. And been fouled there, Gerard Maloney there been fouled out in the centre of the field. His first touch has been fouled. And Matthew Daly making sure he doesn't get away too quickly. Dermot McCormack. Ball being brought forward. As we enter the last 10 minutes of the game. One goal game. The scores have tried up, particularly for Carrick. 
for, Valley, for Kerry Gedman to score one eight to nine points. The ball is given low, the ball is given low. David Quinn comes for the ball. He's been beaten there, beaten there by Greg Graham Forbes. Graham Forbes gives it a young player there. Son of Willie, another great GA foul. And this ball comes to fight to Farrell. Farrell there, Jerry Maloney. Jerry Maloney, a dangerous ball. Eugene, Eugene should get this one. It's been beaten. McCunningham has it, the danger man. He's looking. He recites to the Eugene. Eugene has it. He gives it in. He gives it in to... The so it's a free kick, and it's a free kick there for Paul York, I think. Eugene McCormack got the ball. Watch the runner. The runner was on his shoulder, on his left shoulder. It was number seven, Paul York. He took the pass and was fouled there, seek by James Noonan. It'd be a combination of James Noonan and Ian Reveal. Thou shall not pass. And have we a one point game? Have we a one point game? But less than 10 minutes again. One goal and eight points to nine points. Have we a draw? Could we have a draw here this evening? So, picking up, I think it was Matthew Daly picked up a little a yellow car there, and there's an in injury, unfortunately. One of the Ali Mahan mentors, and I think it's Graham Forbes, I think he's, he's injured himself, he's not too happy. Playing a fine game as Graham had a very good first half, yeah, and he's been carried off. Unfortunately, you see a young fellow being carried off, but hopefully he's not too, in, too badly injured there. And number 19 coming on for Bally Mahan is Simon Daly. A brother there, James and Matthew Daly, so the Daly's household has been well represented there. And you see Willie Forbes going out to give him a hand, hopefully not too badly injured. Father and son, you don't see that too often there. Both tugged out his players, and the ball is kicked over by Keith Maguire. Keith Maguire back on the freeze and kicks that over the bar. One point game. Nine points. Two-point, two I'm afraid the scoreboard has it wrong. It's a two-point game. A two-point game, the scoreboard has it wrong. Five minutes left in the game. And they're adjusting the scoreboard now. A two-point game now. Can Ballyman hold on? And here comes Farrell again with the ball. The ball is given it to the corner. Corner in Maguire. Maguire has the ball now. And there's Daly with the ball now. That's James Daly. And, and the umpire has his hand up and it says a line ball. Or a, a 45 there for Kerry Gedman. And the urgency is on the Kerry Gedman players. A two point game now. And we have the scoreboard corrected. We have a one goal and eight points to nine points. Leave it ball. Lots of time for Kerry Gedman, a two-point game. James Teague, the full-back who's been doing the kick-out duties. And he's coming up. And James Teague taking his time over this. And if it drops in the square, I would say, with the players, I'd say he could blow the whistle. He's in there. The ball is dropping, it's dropping, it's still dropping. Up to go, it's a go, it's a, go. It's a chance, it's a pass. Arnold, it looked, it looked as if they have taken down Paulie McGee. Paulie McGee has, the words of Eugene, definitely coming in on the ball and definitely seemed to be taken down there. He won the ball and could have been a penalty, a ceiling given for less. A talking point here. Bally Mahan will be glad to get down out of the way. But yellow card picked up by Eugene McCormack. The referee is the man in charge. He makes a decision. But a definitely a controversial decision there. Ball ref, fair fucking play ref. A very questionable decision there. The ball is seen to be cleanly won by the Bally Mahan, by the Curry Gedman player. And he seems to be taken down. We need this ball, Curry. Come on, Germans. Will be extra time. There have been a few extra. Minutes added on for players being injured. Few players down in this half. <coughs> Two point game now. One goal and eight points to nine points. Winning this kick out will be very important. But a big call there by Pori McGee. A big, big call by Pori McGee. That's it, Willie. That's been a fucking anger, boy. That's it, Willie, boy. You're getting another one, Willie. 
And the, both sets of supporters are egging them on now. And this ball is for James McCormick. James McCormick out this side. He gives it short. A dangerous tactic. A dangerous tactic across the goal. It's a dangerous tactic. In the come. And it's it. Mike and Cunningham come up the ball. We won there. And the ball has been cleared there by the valley man number 19 for Simon Daly. Simon Daly gives that ball down. Up the goal. McCormick wins the ball. McCormick, the evergreen McCormick. Been taken by Pedro Ball by, by Charlie Byrne. Charlie Byrne, and there's a little bit of confrontation. I don't think he meant it really now. It was just a hard tackle. I don't think there's any vindictiveness in it. No, he's beaten his innocent. I think he just went in hard. A very, very unlucky to pick up that red card. Very, very unlucky. But anyhow, that's the way it goes. And the ball being brought in. The ball being brought in. Bit of discipline there now. Very, very unfortunate it was Charlie Bourne to be sent off there now. It was a hard tackle, but I don't know whether it was a red card or not. He hadn't been... It looked like a straight red. So Michael Cullion with a chance. We had a chance to bring it back to a point. A very important kick. He gives it long. He gives it good. That looks good. And we have a one-point... We have a one-point game. A one-point game. I said earlier on to cut into the draw. I said it earlier on. Can we have a draw? We have a one-point game. One goal and eight points to ten points. The next kick out, the next kick out is vital. They have the extra man. Can they use it? Carrie Gilman, can they use it? Matthew Dealing, Mile Dowler trying to run in and took the ball in the centre of the field. Up to go. The ball is win. It's one day. It's a, and it's been won by Bally Mahan. And it's been Bally Mahan now number six. And number 19 there is Simon Daly. The Daly brothers have played well. And here comes Matthew Daly, look it up, no hurry at all. The ball is cleared, down to the corner, bad ball, bad ball. Ball is given quickly, not a great ball either. Michael Cunningham has it, he brings it in, he has the ball, he has the ball, he brings it in. He's looking good, he's looking for support. That support comes in a play, oh it's bad ball. The ball, ball is given it, very far wins it, he gives it into, into Farrell, Farrell gives it, he looks at David Quinn, David Quinn, he looks, he kicks. He kicks it wide, a bad wide there by David Quinn. He didn't look for the experience. There's inside of him. There should be a minute or a few minutes left. Injury time. Carrick had their chance there. The ball has been delayed a little bit there by James McCormack. Come on, get it! And the ball by James McCarran, centre of the field, up the goal, up the goal, is it going to be one? And one there. Oh, and Alice and Carrie Gilman have the ball, and he throws it away, and this will be brought forward. And this is a chance, this is a chance. It's been brought forward, and this is a chance by Michael Cunningham, this is a chance. Keep Maguire now with a chance. Keep Maguire with a chance now. He misses it. It's gone wide. It's gone wide. He got the left foot. Maybe Michael Cunningham was a better option there. He probably could have given a shot to Eugene. The ball is in the centre of the place in the centre of the goal mount. Out to come and excitement everywhere. The ball is out there and it goes out up the goal. It's won by Bally Man. Not Bally Man. Gary Murta. Murta with the ball out. Down along the side. He's been tackled. There, up to come is number Johnny Nevin. Johnny Nevin tackled. A high ball drop is up in the centre of the cards. Forward there is an out to come, David Quinn, David Quinn is, drops it out to Tig, Tig now, gives it out to Farrell, is a Farrell, out to, uh, out to come, up to that man there is Michael Cullen, I mean foul, heavily foul there, that gets going in strong, number eight there, Dan Carberry, a heavy tackle there. And James Tig there, looking for runners, Bally Mahan, a ball, a corner covered. 
And the ball is finished and Ballyman Ardad, Pat Corrigan, Junior A, Football Championship Final 2-10. And a scoreline of one goal and eight points to Carrie Gilman's ten points. Unfortunately, Carrie Gilman had her chances near the end. But I suppose Ballyman got the goal and the goal was there, was going to win the game. It was always a difference. They're now they're not, they're totally one midfield for a lot of periods in the second half. And I suppose with the likes of Dan Carby and Charlie Bourne, James Farrell and Eddie Noonan, they and Dominic there, that's triangle there, and Matthew Daly and, and Graham Forbes and Niall, Fowl, Niall Dowler, but James Noonan there playing very well. So it's a great victory for Ballyman, who are crowned the Junior A champions for 2010. And it's unlucky for Carrie Gedmond, who had great performance in, in Teague, Lenehan, Farrell, particularly Paul York, John Burns, Quinn, oh, Rook. On behalf of uh, Coach Degonda Longford, again, it's a great pleasure to be here in uh, Cashel on a grand Friday evening um, at the final of the Pat Corrigan Junior Football Championship. First of all, I want to thank the Cashel Club uh, for, again, giving us the facilities here tonight, marvellous facilities, and I want to say well done to Ray, Peter, and, and the staff here in Cashel for looking after us tonight, so well done, lads. Uh, also on behalf of the county board, I want to thank uh, the referees uh, that refed all our junior championship matches, um, and especially uh, Porrick McGee and his team tonight. And if Porrick is, uh, is there, we have a medal for uh, Porrick. Is Porrick McGee there? The referee. Think you done a runner? <laughs> I knew I was here. Okay. All right. Well done. Thanks very much, Paul. Thank you. And that brings on to the game itself. And uh, what a great sporting game! Uh, it was very, very entertaining uh, between neighbours' children, and uh, there wasn't a, a dirty blow in it, which was great. <laughs> I don't know who's laughing there. There wasn't a dirty blow at it. It was a, it was a great game of football and played in the main by young fellas. Uh, Carrick Hedman had a tough week. They had a, a good week winning the Intermediate Championship. And uh, I want to say well done to Carrick Hedman and all the fellas uh, for being back here tonight. It was, they had hoped to make the double. It hasn't happened. And our neighbours in Ballymahan have won the championship. And I want to say well done to Ballymahan on a fine sporting display this evening. Well done, Ballymahan. It's incumbent on Ballymahan and on Carrick Edmund and on Cashel and on people in South Longford that we try and raise the game in South Longford. And the next time we're talking and hopefully Carrick Edmund and Ballymahan meet in a final, wouldn't we like to meet in a senior final? Because that's what we need to aspire to do in South Longford and that's what we need to do, especially in Carrick Edmund and Ballymahan and, and Cashel. We need to raise our game and we need to get up there with the people in North Longford because surely to God we're as good at playing football as they are. So the next time we meet we shall be in senior finals and that's what we should be doing. So, so with that, I want to present the Cup, uh, the Junior Championship Cup, to awarded captain Matthew. Thanks, Liam. Uh, there's a few people I'd like to thank. Uh, start by uh, thank our management team, uh, Wayne Kelly. Paul Kelly, Willie Forbes, 
suppose Alba Fallon and Ali Kelly as well. And they're the selectors. What do you mean support? Uh, I know it means a lot to Willie and Wayne and Paul Kelly and Albert and Ali as well for like, to put in an awful lot of commitment and work the last few months and it means an awful lot to them and we have the cup now to, I suppose, make up for it. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Carrigan for good, hard, four game boys. You know, it's tough, he lost this final last year. And I suppose your win last week will be some consolation to you. I suppose you deserve three cheers on you. So, hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hey, finally, uh, as is in the, um, all our championships, or all our, our three main championships, we have a man of the match. And I, I suppose um, they don't give a man of the match for, for, for uh, shouting inspiration. If they did, Willie Forbes again. But that's, that's, it's not for that tonight. The man of the match is, um, uh, what look at his first name here, Thomas Mulvihill, because when he was scored, he was going to Okay, thanks very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.